In the previous lesson, we started building the product's single page. And we got about halfway there. We, we built the slider and also the top description and call to action. Now it's time to take care of the product Q&A and the product testimonials. Okay, the Q&A is powered by an accordion control, which has a bit of a more uh, complicated uh, markup. But it all starts with a div with a class of accordion. Let's also give it an ID of product Q&A. And each question and answer is a separate group, which can be displayed by using the accordion group class. Now, each accordion group has an accordion heading, which represents the question, and an accordion body, which represents the answer. So we'll do accordion heading plus accordion body, like this. All right, now the heading will contain a link, which will be a trigger for the collapsible body. So A with a class of accordion toggle. The href should be linking to, to an ID for the accordion body. So let's set collapse one. href will point to collapse one. And also we must specify a data parent, which is product Q&A this one and then a data toggle equals collapse all right and the text let's just say question question one okay the accordion body which contains uh, the actual answer uh, will have another class of accordion inner this will make sure it adds some proper uh, paddings and then a paragraph this is answer one all right now if we look in the page we can see that it's already there it's already showing and if we duplicate it each accordion group yeah we'll see that all the answers are showing. We need to prevent that. And we'll do it by adding the collapse class on each accordion body. And also, I think I'll just get rid of the paragraph here since it, uh, it adds some margin bottom. All right, so now uh, this is currently hidden. Let's uh, duplicate it again. Okay, let's do three questions and then we'll say question two and question three. We'll also update the answers and also we'll update the IDs. All right, something like that. So when we click on any of them, it's going to drop, um, it's going to show their content. Now we can specify which answer to be shown first by using the class of in. So in my case, I just want to show the first answer by default. Okay. Now this is uh, not behaving like an accordion because that parent should have the hashtag in front of that and also we'll apply it here and here all right so now clicking one item will automatically hide uh, the other one also uh, there is a small um, title here so let's go ahead and add it and also let's wrap it in a section Okay. H4 was to product Q&A. Okay, something like that. 
Also, uh, we kind of started on the wrong foot here. Uh, the page is divided in half, right? So we got to create like a grid structure. So let's do section div class row. We'll start it here. And also we'll wrap the Q&A in a div with a class of span six. Okay, something like that. And we'll close one div, which is a span six. And we'll close another one, which is the uh, div class row. So now we'll add another div with a class of span six, which will have an H4 that says testimonials or product testimonials. Okay, perfect. And for testimonials, well, we'll just add um, a bunch of uh, block quotes. So a block quote, which contains a paragraph plus a small tag. Duplicate it. Also add the separator. And we're going to duplicate this uh, a couple of times. All right, something like that. Okay, perfect. And let's have a look. We have one last element we need to add, and that is the product navigation. So let's add, let's see div class row, it ends here. I'm going to add an HR. And then we can add, or we can generate these two buttons with a list with a class of pager. This belongs to the pagination. And we'll say list item with a class of previous. Okay, which contains an anchor tag. href currently goes nowhere, and text should be something like this. Previous product, or just previous symbol. Copy this, give it a class of next, and text should say next. Okay. And those are the true the two uh, controls. And that's it. Basically, this is the product single page. All right, in the next lesson, we'll build our last page, which is the about us. So uh, that's coming up next.